John chapter 8 and we see what God said there. When it refers to the fact that he existed long before even Abraham. Now God is arguing with Israel because he wanted them to know who he really is. And so he revealed several things about himself compared to other times. Now in chapter 8 here, John again. That's when they took up stones to stone him. That's why in chapter 10 it refers to the fact that they did it. They wanted to stone him again. If you go to verse 30, Jesus said, are you there? Read what he said. Hello, guys. Read. No, he said, make you free, not set you free. And he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered, we be Abraham's seed and never un in bondage to any man. How sayest thou? Remember they were in Babylon and before that. And then Midianite captives so before that. They, they were captive by several nations when you read the book of Judges. So they were really lying. Okay? And here, what, what Jesus said to them has nothing to do with physical captivity. They acknowledge that they're seed of Abraham, and Jesus would say, you are not children. What's the difference? Hello? What's the difference between being seed of Abraham and children of Abraham? Yes, that's right. And seed refers to his descendants, natural descendants. Okay? So in other words, for God, those who are children of Abraham, they don't have to be what you might call natural descendants of Israel. Are you following that? If they believe in the God of Israel, God see them as both seed and children of Abraham. Because the, the, the ones who descended from Abraham, even though they are seed, God said, many of them are not children. Okay? And so Jesus argued that point to them sometime before. Jesus said now, verse 34, Verily, what he said, I most solemnly tell you. Now, you get the point now. So he's saying that whosoever commits sin, and that's what Israel was doing all along when God started to declare himself to them, who he really is. He said, I want you to be my witnesses. But he said, in other words then, a person who continue to live in sin. King James normally use it this way, but in the Hebrew it's normally continue in something. Then he said, you're a servant of what? Sin. Now read what he said after that. And the servant abided not in the house forever, which we could categorically say they might be there for a while, but they will not abide forever if we continue in sin. Read on. If the son therefore, so you see when he's telling them that if they continue what? Go back to verse um, 32. Verse 31, he said, if he continue in my word, what he said, then are he my disciples indeed, and he shall know the truth. Now, so if you remember when we go back to um, Isaiah chapter 8, Isaiah said that if this law is not in them, then there is no life in them. So he sealed up the, all the commandments and all of that, and he only revealed them now to his disciples. As far as Israel is concerned as a nation, he shut up the law to them that they could not interpret it anymore, and he passed on the interpretation and the revelation of it to his disciples. Are you following that? Hello? And so he was telling them that if they actually continue in his word, they would have been his disciples indeed. Now, and he said, as a result of that, they would know the, the truth, and the truth would what? Make them free. That's what he tells them right there. It would make them free. Now go back to what we read right here. Now, 
Verse 36. If the Son of Man therefore make you free, then he said, you are truly free. The next verse he said, I know that he are Abraham's seed. But he seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. So you've got to see that sometimes we can always repeat scriptures and we know it by heart and all of this. But watch their reaction to him. Notice he said, you want to kill me. You, that's what he said to them. If you, you, uh, he said, I know you are Abraham's seed, but you want to kill me. So he discerned their heart. Are you following that? So you've got to understand when we are serving God, many of us, we can quote the Bible. We know what the Bible is saying and all of that. The truth of the matter is that sometimes the heart is not converted. Because here Jesus talking to them all this time. He's telling them, if you continue in my word, you'll be my disciples. And then you'll get to know the truth. Or truth there is also a reference to Torah. If you read Psalm 119, thy commandment is the truth. Thy law is the truth. And all of that. The revelation of Torah and the understanding of Jesus Christ would come to them. But guess what happened? They heard him saying it all the time, and, and some of them appeared to be like his disciples, and all of that, but guess what happened? Their heart wasn't really with God, and that's the truth. Now read on and see what he said to them now. Yeah. Yeah. Back to verse 35, he said, verse 34 rather, he said, Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. And he that, and the servant abideth not in the house forever. So it didn't say not going to be there for a while, but not going to abide in the house forever. Which means going to be removed. Okay? Now, go to verse 38 now. He said, I speak that which I have what? Seen with my father. And he do that which he have what? Seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, read what they said, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if he were Abraham's children, he would not, he would do the works of Abraham, which means works of righteousness, which means having faith in God, which means believing what God said. So verse 40 he said, And now he seeks to kill me, a man that had what? 
told you the truth which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Because when God spoke to Abraham, Abraham obeyed. And even when it was difficult for him to even offer up his son, he was willing to offer up his son because God said he should. So he's showing them that, really, you're not Abraham's children. You don't have any faith like Abraham. You don't walk with Abraham with God like Abraham did, and you don't believe God like Abraham did. And so he continued. What happened after that? Verse 41. He do the deeds of your father, then say they, We be not born of what? Fornication. Even God. That could imply two things there, like what? What would they were implying? It could imply two things right there. Say that again. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, what were they implying? Pardon me? Yeah, but that's all they were implying? It's a twofold thing, right? In the Old Testament, when God called them fornicators sometime, what is he referring to? Yeah, but in what sense? Remember the controversy started with them was because they what? What were they doing while God started this whole thing from chapter 40 with them? What they were doing? The meaning that you, you say to, you serve him but at the same time you are doing other things without a God. So in other words, it's, it's like you can't.